Welcome to Statistics in Excel video number 55.5. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Business 210 Chapter 4. Hey, if you're in our class, uh, just go to our Chapter 4 website. Hey, Bayes' Theorem. This is posterior probability that we want to calculate. Now, what is posterior probability? Well, let's first remind ourselves of what we've learned so far. Uh, prior probabilities or marginal probabilities as we saw in our joint probability table, uh, we have two events. You either leave the garage door open or you don't leave it open. This is in a particular neighborhood. Here's the probability you leave it open. Here's the probability you don't leave it open or not or close. Now, conditional probability. Ah, so we started with a group that left it open and conditional probabilities have the characteristic that the sample space changes. So now only some of the people who left their garage door open got stuff stolen. So st uh, stuff stolen given that we left the garage door open. We have that probability right there. Now if we want to do joint, which is an and, A-N-D, we multiply it. And that would mean uh, the probability of both and you left it open and you got something stolen. So let's calculate this here. Equals this times this. Control enter. And I'm going to copy it down. OK, and sure enough, that worked there. Now, these are joint, the and, and the conditional. Now, posterior probability. Uh, this conditional was the probability that stuff is stolen given that we left the garage door open. But now we want to do it in reverse. We want to take the fact that something was stolen and find out what the, what the probability is that the door was open. So in essence, it's going backwards. Ultimately, we're going to calculate the probability doors open given that stuff was stolen. So here we go. Uh, the way we can do that is we have this and this. If we were to add it up, we could simply do parts compared to the whole calculation. This divided by the total of the joint probabilities. Now, let's go ahead and do that. Let's add these up, Alt equals. And I also want to remind ourselves of what we did um, the, over the last five videos using the sum products function. Now, how did we get this total? Well, we first multiply these two and then these two. OK, so a column times a column and then adding. That's sum product. So I want you to click here and just remind yourself that this is an alternative. If our goal is just to have this total here, we don't really need to, to waste real estate here calculating that. Sum product, and I'm going to say this column, comma, this column. And that's the sum product. The beauty of the sum product is it will take two similar, the same size dimension uh, ranges, multiply the component parts, and then add them. All right, so I'm going to hit Enter. We got exactly the same thing. Now we'll rem remember that when we uh, get to calculating it in all in one cell down here. Now back to posterior probability. Once we have the individual joint probabilities and the total, then it's a simple matter of equals whatever the joint probability is divided by the total of all those joint probabilities. And I'll hit the F4 key to lock it here. Control Enter and click and drag. So there we have our posterior probability. Probability doors were open given that something got stolen. OK, now let's do it all together in one cell. Then you don't have to uh, you know, take up all of this real estate here. If your goal really is just to do doors open given that it was stolen, we do the first part in parentheses the conditional, I mean, sorry, the, the joint probability, that one times this one, close parentheses. So now we have our individual joint probability. And all we need to do is divide it by the sum of all the joint probabilities, which, of course, we know by now can be done easily with the sum product. So I'm going to take that, comma, that. 
Here now, I, this is a little uh, scrunched up here. I'm going to control enter and then I'm going to get rid of that formatting. There's the formula right there. Very straightforward. Now, and this will be beneficial because Bayes' theorem can involve lots of joint probabilities. We have a nice simple little two uh, event, uh, uh, two joint probabilities here, but you can imagine if you had a whole column of these, how convenient, convenient this one formula would be. Okay, so that is uh, the sum, sum products, Bayes' theorem, posterior probabilities. We'll see you next chapter.